All right, today I'm going to show you how to assemble the Televis Ellipse Mix outdoor TV antenna. Start by installing the VHF reflector extension onto the main antenna boom. Slide it onto the coupler on the back and secure it with the included carriage bolt and wing nut. Make sure that the carriage bolt is fully seated in the hole and tighten up the wing nut by hand. Next, we're going to install the UHF directors, that is these smaller curved elements here. Something to watch out for, that the unfinished end here, the open end is the part that clicks in to the main antenna body. Make sure this end goes in to the antenna body and not the finished end. As you install these elements, seat them into the antenna at a high angle and once they're fully seated in the body, you're going to press them downward and they will snap into place. Next, I'll install the UHF and VHF reflectors on the top side of the antenna. These wider UHF reflectors will go in the middle of the antenna and these longer VHF reflectors install at the back. And to install these reflectors, again, make sure that the unfinished side is going against the antenna body. The finished side should face out. Take the reflector, lift up this locking cam, slide it into the right bracket, make sure it's fully seated and then just press this down and it snaps in place and that's secured. And repeat that on the back side for the VHF element. You can install the bottom VHF reflector in the same way as the top reflectors, but before you put in the bottom UHF reflector, it's probably best to install the active element on the antenna just so you have a little more room to put that in. The active element that actually captures the TV signal has both UHF and VHF elements installed on it, along with an RF connector for the coax cable, as well as the preamp chip that is powered by an external power supply that is also included. As I said, it's best to put this active element on before you attach this final UHF reflector, just so you have a little more room to get in here. Now there's a square notch on this active element. This only goes on one way. All you do is seat this on the main boom like this, and then it's just gonna press into place and snaps in. And now I'm going to add in the final UHF reflector. Once again, make sure the unfinished side gets seated against the antenna's body. Lift up that cam, slide it in, and just snap it closed. There's a little handy tool included with this antenna. It's almost like a hexagonal finger wrench that slides over the coax cable fitting. In this case, it fit over this compression fitting quite nicely and it made it easier to get this coax cable connected to that active element. It is a bit of a tight squeeze between the active element and that bottom UHF reflector, but this little tool seemed to help. Once the coaxial cable is connected to your antenna, you're going to want to run that back to this power supply that's included. Now bear in mind that this runs off of 120 volt AC current. This is for indoor use only. The antenna input is here. This is the output to your TV or digital converter box. There's also a secondary output here for a second TV or digital converter box. If you look inside, opening the cover, there is a diagram here. This port here is this one. And this port accepts the signal from the antenna, but it also has an out arrow because it back feeds DC voltage back through the coax cable to power that preamp chip that's located up in the antenna. And then you have two outputs here for your TV or digital converter boxes. And I'll be doing a full review and test of the Televis Ellipse Mix in an upcoming video.